Today, JetBlue pilots voted for representation by the Airline Pilots Association International. Their vote says clearly that they want a real seat at the table to discuss the future. They want a collective bargaining agreement instead of signing individual agreements with management. And they want the professional resources and the support of ALPA's 50,000 other pilots to help them achieve their goals. I'm impressed by their unity and their professionalism. Now it's time to get to work. This week, ALPA's Executive Council will meet to appoint interim JetBlue pilot representatives. These pilot leaders will start the work of the JetBlue pilot group. They'll set meetings for the democratic election of permanent representatives. They will establish committees in the critical areas of pilot work like safety, employee benefits, and contract study. And they will initiate the membership drive that is critical to self-governance and pilot group unity. ALPA has also moved quickly. We've assigned staff in each department to work hand in hand with JetBlue pilot leaders. I notified the association's aeromedical office that it can take JetBlue pilots' calls. And ALPA's disability and loss of license insurance is available with their membership application approval. So I urge JetBlue pilots to send those membership materials in as soon as they can. Just as important is the work we can do together with JetBlue to continue the airline's proud history and vibrant culture. It's time to move quickly past the election and engage constructively to solve problems. Today, I'm pleased to welcome JetBlue pilots. I want to thank them for taking the step to secure their future build on favorable industry contract patterns, and support the piloting profession. On behalf of the 50,000 members of the Airline Pilots Association International, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. We're ready to help. And congratulations on the first part of a job well done.